sunny day in Brooklyn and I had a really late night out last night <laughs> and I'm feeling a little crispy and I knew that my brain was not in its optimal working order. So um, I'm gonna bake for you guys because baking is meditative and calming and it's also helping because I tend to have a sweet tooth when I am feeling a little hungover and depleted. So rather than going to the bakery and getting something that I don't know what's inside of it, I'm gonna make the cardamom apple cake from Cook Beautiful. It's one of my favorite cakes. Um, it's super moist. It has an interesting texture. It almost feels a little bit more like bread pudding um, cardamom, apple, cognac, although I have no cognac, so I'm going to use whiskey, um, and buttermilk. And what I really love, um, about buttermilk inside a cake is that it gives a, like, slight tang to the cake, which I think is really an interesting flavor, um, but it also helps with keeping it, like, extra moist. Um, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty classic French technique. There's a lot of butter in it. There's a lot of sugar in it, um, but there are apples in it. Um, honey crisp to be exact. Anyway, let's hop into the kitchen. I'll take you through the steps. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you make it and tag I soon unplugged so I can regram it. Okay guys. Okay, first thing first is some flour. You guys asked me recently about these canisters. They're glass canisters with these beautiful walnut wood tops, and they are from Food 52. So if any of you guys want them, that's where I got them. So we're starting with one cup of flour, and we're gonna add, there you go, one cup of flour, and then three quarter cup of cardamom. This is one, I mean not three quarter cup, I'm so silly. Three quarter teaspoon, this is one teaspoon, so I'm gonna just put a little less than that. And about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Use kosher salt, this is a half. <clears throat> and three quarter teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna whisk all of this together. Now I'm gonna crack the two eggs in a separate bowl. Let me go get a separate bowl. Okay, so we've got two eggs. I have three quarter cup of sugar here and I'm gonna slowly pour that into the eggs. And I'm also melting one stick of butter right now. Um, because I have to melt it completely and then have it cooled before I integrate it into the cake. And same goes, um, oh, sorry, I'm making a mess, guys. Same goes for um, the buttermilk. It's better to use it at room temperature, so, um, likely best to take the buttermilk out in advance to bring it to room temperature. I probably should have done the butter in advance just to give it the time to cool. But setting yourself up like I did not, <laughs> it just kind of makes the process of baking go a little bit easier. Okay, so let's see, I'm reading my own recipe. I'm gonna add the cognac, three tablespoons, vanilla extract to the egg and granulated sugar. So I'm gonna go get that again, unorganized, sorry guys. Alrighty, three tablespoons of the booze. I am using some whiskey. I think it's whiskey anyway. Yeah, scotch whiskey. Three tablespoons. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oops, that was a little more. Combining this and then I'm going to add the buttermilk, one third cup of buttermilk. So we have all of our wet ingredients. We have our dry ingredients. And the only thing that I'm going to have to do is wait for the butter to A, melt and B, chill. But in the interim, I can peel and slice my apples. What I really like about 
this recipe is that you're using three apples. I'm using honey crisp because I absolutely love honey crisp. Um, <clears throat> but two and a half of these apples are gonna get cubed and folded into the batter. And then I'm gonna finish the, um, the cake with thin apple slices that are gonna go in kind of a cylindrical kind of I can't even speak right now. They're going to go in a circle, basically. <laughs> so this last one, I'm only going to peel half of the apple because I'm going to use the other half with the actual skin on. So I am now going to cut the um, apples into like half inch cubes. All right, guys, we are going to combine these ingredients. We're going to mix the dry with the wet. We're going to basically put half of the wet into the flour. Um, gently stir it, then put half of the butter in, and then put the remaining in. So you're just going to kind of slowly put all the ingredients together. Basically, <clears throat> you're going to fold this in, which basically means that you're not going to like vigorously stir it. Gently fold. And I'm going to do half of the butter. Okay, now we're gonna add all of these apples into the batter. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to butter my um, pan and the parchment, and then we're gonna pour this in. So I have my cast iron pan, I have my parchment. I'll kind of fold in the center so that <laughs> <laughs> it fits in the pan. You really don't need it to be perfect. It's um, essentially you're going to use the edges of this parchment to pull up the cake. Okay, my phone just died. <laughs> Basically, I sliced the apple into um, like eighth inch slices and I put them in a circle going around the top of the cake. I'm gonna go get some turbinado brown sugar and I'm going to sprinkle that on top. It's gonna help get um, the apples super caramelized. I do not have turbinado sugar, I've run out, so I'm just gonna use regular natural granular sugar. 